Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are not doing an unboxing video today. Fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. Fortunate for my wallet, unfortunate for, I guess, you guys, if you were expecting to see an unboxing video. We are actually doing something different anyways. So if you're a frequent watcher of mine, or if you're a subscriber of mine, which if you're a frequent watcher, I don't know why you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. But if you're a frequent watcher of mine, you know that I recently moved and I have actually set up my entire collection and even added more shelves. In my previous place I was only able to fit two bookshelves in my room. This time I fit four actually and then I think I can fit three more actually but also I had floating shelves and that's where I had placed all of these acrylic stands on. I had two floating shelves and I took those shelves with me and I never set them up and I'm kind of regretting it because I want to set them up now but that would require me to move everything here, all these figures, all the shelves. I'm actually having somebody come in and install them for me because I, I'm not the one to be doing that. I have to pretty much move everything, take everything down. And God, I don't know why I just didn't have this done before I set up the shelves and the figures, but here we are. So I thought to kind of make this a little easier or a little more fun, I would take you guys along with me on, I don't know, I don't want to call it a journey. That sounds so stupid, but you know, on the process of doing this. And um, you'll basically be seeing <laughs> every step that's done here. Um, I think maybe once I have everything installed I'll like take advantage and just like dust my figures and dust the shelves right so maybe like in between I'll film a dust and discuss maybe I'll put that in a separate video I don't think I'll put that here um in this video but anyways I don't know I just thought this would be a nice way to take advantage of the moment and show you guys something different other than an unboxing video which I don't, doesn't really get done that often so yeah just taking advantage of that so here we go. We are going to go ahead and start taking these down because the guy comes tomorrow to install these shelves. I also already took a picture of each shelf so I remember where everything goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully that makes the process a little more easier. Okay, so just a quick check-in. I moved one of the shelves into the living room and I'm kind of just emptying as I go. I got all the acrylic stands off my shelves and then I have them scattered all over here I mean look at this mess I have them all scattered over here and like inside my closet I just it's a mess it is currently 7 p.m on the dot hopefully I can get this done before it gets even later <laughs> um but that's the update okay so I am officially done it is currently 8.09 <laughs> to be exact and I think I think this is good I moved two of the bookshelves into the living room and I have the figures on there and then these guys I think I can keep on in here and just kind of move them to the side but I'll do that tomorrow all the acrylic stands are all in here um that's what we got I'll show you what I got in the living room right now so this is what we got in the living room we got the two shelves I got some plushies up there but it's a mess, y'all. But yeah, I will check back in tomorrow and show you the work that's done. And then we can go ahead and uh, clean up the shelves and the figures um, and reorganize everything. So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all. It is the next day. The guy just left. Um, obviously, I wasn't going to record him working, but this is what we have so far unfortunately the wall of my room is not even <laughs> it's not straight but honestly I think it looks good I think the camera is also making it more noticeable but yay look at that we got three shelves um like I said I think I mentioned it before in my previous room I was only able to fit two floating shelves but now I have three which means so much more room for my acrylic stands 
don't know if that's a good thing or not because I feel like that's just encouraging me to get more. <laughs> but um, either way, more space is always good. Now we gotta figure this out, this whole mess out. So I'm gonna clean under here before I put the shelves back. And then I will be back to show you um, everything that's set up, I guess. Okay, so a little progress check. It is so late. I took a break and I had um, dinner. Uh, I got distracted and now it is like seven o'clock, past seven o'clock. But I have the entire shelf, the entire first floating shelf complete. I don't know. I'm too short to show you guys, but hopefully that's good enough. And I am moving on to the second one. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to fully fill the second one. Um, maybe I'll add some temporary stuff. I do have extra acrylic stands that I haven't unboxed yet and taken out of its packaging. Um, but I'm waiting to... What I usually do is I film TikToks of me unboxing them and then I put them up. Um, but I, like I said, I haven't unboxed them, so I haven't filmed a TikTok yet. But I don't even think those will fully fill this second shelf either. Eventually, I do probably plan on... Um, putting another shelf up here and maybe above the curtains over there but that's like very very far in the future okay hey guys so i did not actually end up filming a dust and discuss um actually it is currently the next day maybe like past six to be exact uh technically i did have work so there's that and then i got distracted afterwards um did i finish everything no Am I almost done? Yes, I have one more shelf to put back into my room. I guess I'll just show you, hold on. I have three shelves put back and set up. I just have one more to put back. Um, so if you remember, I had two shelves over here and now I have one. I got like a whole spread, as you can see, <laughs> it's a mess. But I did finish putting up for the most part I just have like a couple more acrylic stands but I haven't like decided where these are really going on the shelves I also actually rearranged my figures so I think that's what kind of took the longest rearranging them and then also putting up the acrylic stands so what I did is I have that shelf there now instead of the magical girl shelf and then my bungo shelf and then I'll just call it my shoujo shelf and then my magical girl shelf will be the last one because I feel like it would make more sense just because it's like darker figures to lighter. Also, Shoujo next to Magical Girls makes more sense. And I think Bungo next to uh, those animes make more sense as well. Genre wise, probably not like the free sports animes, but I don't have enough sports anime stuff to make an entire shelf for it. So I think I like this better. It ma just makes more sense and it feels more organized. Obviously, when I get even more bookshelves, I'm gonna have to rearrange them but I think I'm gonna have to rearrange everything anyway as I get more figures. Also not only did I rearrange where each shelf goes but I also rearranged the figures on each individual shelf. So this setup kind of looked a little different. I didn't have as many figures at the top over here as I did before. I did have all the Nendroids there and the Swatch House and the the two little uh, noodle stoppers, but I never had the pop-up parades and the Nendroid dolls there. I don't know why I never put them up there, especially because they fit and I like this so much better. It looks more full and I like my shelves to look full. There's a lot more to look at and I feel like you're forced to kind of look closer and then you notice, you know, more figures that you probably didn't notice before. Um, at first glance and it's nice because then you just go over and appreciate the shelf more I guess. Same with this shelf. I think I kind of just moved a couple of Nendroids around for the most part but that's about it. Everything here is the same. So the most rearranging I did was on this shelf at the top. But anyways let's just get this done. I will update you when there's something to update you about. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let me try to back up a bit. That's what we have. Like I said, I still have rooms, room to put stuff on the mounted shelves, so that's good. I didn't really know what to do with this Madoka or this Dazai and Chuya plush, but 
they're there for now i don't know um i was gonna put them up there but i don't i don't know they're good there for now i don't have anything else to put up there so they'll fill the space there for now i did reorganize the last two shelves so i added this is like my shoujo slash i guess like idol oh i was dusting my fingers um this is like my shoujo slash idol shelf just because i don't have enough of either of these genres to fill up the one whole shelf so they're just like meshed together it's like shoujo romance type thing uh, we got some BL in there too. Uh, I have my bunny figures up there. Here's the thing. I know it's probably weird to have this Yui figure up here instead of with the rest of the idols, but she's just so small. She just does not look good visually. Like you can't even actually appreciate her on that shelf because because it's a lower shelf. So I mean, the same goes for these other figures, but there's nothing I can really do about that. For the Magical Girl shelf, I have Magical Girls slash cafe-ish theme. I know, I know the cat figures aren't technically cafe themed, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that they are cat cafe themed in my head because I had nowhere else to put them. So the wand section is growing. Initially, I only had enough wands to fit that one bottom section and now my wand collection is growing. And look how cute. I just love how sparkly everything looks on that shelf and pink and oh, so good. So yeah. So I'll go ahead and give you like a quick B-roll of everything um i'll probably actually film that in the morning since there'll be some daylight okay so i'm editing this video and i just realized i never filmed an outro so here's my outro i did already film a b-roll but i ended up changing a few things so i'll just give you an updated b-roll actually um i have a few empty spots on the floating shelves that's j just because i have merch that i'm unboxing and i i know i want them to be placed on those in those empty spots so they're gonna go there eventually so that's why i have that spot empty but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys